Hi, today is Monday, February 27th, and today I have a very long overdue Scentsy Empties video. I think the last Empties video I did was all the way back in September, and I've been meaning to do another Empties video since then, but life has just gotten really busy. So I wanted to get all of these empties in the recycling before the end of the fall winter catalog, which is tomorrow. So I can't believe that the spring summer catalog is just a few days away. I'm very excited. It has been very, very wintry here. So I am ready for all things spring, but I did want to just kind of go through all of these empties that I've been accumulating over the last few months. I apologize that it's taken me so long to get this out. So because there are so many, I think I'm just going to kind of rapidly go through them, tell you, you know, some brief thoughts and maybe whether I would repurchase or not. And these empties should be going backwards in time with the most recent empties toward the beginning. So I'll just start on the top. I have an air purifier filter. I just changed this out within the last week or so. We have an air purifier in our bedroom and it tends to get really, really dusty in there. So this was really gross and dusty and I am glad to be getting rid of that. When I changed the filter out, I did change out the pods. So I did have Luna pods going in our bedroom and this was just a really nice kind of light, perfumey, clean fragrance going in the background. I found that it didn't really um, compete with the scents that I was warming in our bedroom and I changed it out for pink sugarberry mint. This was a really nice compliment to some of the more sweet scents that I've been warming in February so I've really been enjoying those pods. I did finish a tub of washer whiffs in pink cotton. This is one of my favorite scents from Scentsy. They did discontinue pink cotton in the wax but I believe it staying around in laundry. So I love this. I love washing our sheets in pink cotton. So just today I changed out the wax in our bedroom and I put in one of my favorites for the bedroom, Forever Yours. This was in a Bring Back My Bar recently and this is one of my all-time favorite scents for the bedroom. It is just perfumey, a little bit powdery, very feminine. It's soft. I'd say it's kind of on the medium to light side. I don't think it would do well in a space much larger than a bedroom, but I absolutely love it in our bedroom. And I have to say that in our bathroom, I was warming one of the scents from the upcoming Easter collection, Mandarin Zest. So I had a cube of this in our bathroom that's connected to our bedroom. And there was just something about these two scents kind of mixing and mingling that was so so nice. I do think Forever Yours has a lemon note in it and with the mandarin zest going in the bathroom it kind of brought out the citrus note in Forever Yours and it was fabulous. So I don't know um, if I would mix these in the same warmer but having them going in the same space was so so nice. So mandarin zest is on the lighter side. It is quite um, a sweet, light, perfumey citrus scent. Uh, I really like it. Like I said, it's quite light. I'm having a hard time smelling it in our hall bathroom. It's doing a little bit better in our ensuite bathroom, um, but I have really been enjoying that. You know that I love citrus scents. And speaking of the Easter collection, I am warming through a bar of Violet Spun Sugar. I'm actually warming it here in the Scentsy room right now. And I did go through a whole bar of this in our upstairs kind of open concept area. And this one is really nice. So I do get a lot of a berry note from this. And if you're wondering why I still have a cube left, I like to save a cube from these limited time releases um, to make my own testers for my archives. So if you see some of these that still have a cube left in them, that's why. But when I first smelled this, it reminded me so much of February's scent of the month, Pink Coconut. And I just watched a video from Ashley P and I heard her say the exact same thing. But there is something very um, familiar about this kind of rich, tangy berry scent that smells a lot like the raspberry note that's in Pink Coconut. I think I prefer this to Pink Coconut. Pink Coconut is just a little sharp and a little sour for my nose, but this one is really pleasant. It did a fine job in my open concept area and it's doing really well in this room here. So I really liked that one. And then the third scent in that Easter trio is Pinkberry Fluff. And this is a really nice kind of sweet sugary scent. 
So I do get a lot of the sweetness from the marshmallow, but it's mixed really well with kind of a perfumey berry note. So this scent reminds me a lot of scents like Sugar or Pink Haze, but I actually think I prefer this one to those scents. Those scents almost have kind of like a burnt sugar note to my nose, and I don't get that from this. This is just sweet and soft and kind of warm and cozy, and I really liked it. So last weekend, we actually went on a little getaway for my birthday, and I took Pinkberry Fluff with us to warm in our hotel room. I warmed two cubes of this in my Spot On Mini Warmer. I really like to travel with that one, and it is retiring at the end of this catalog, so it's a really good performer. But this actually did really well for me in our hotel room, so it was definitely present. Um, I've heard a lot of people say, that this one has been quite light for them. I don't think this would do well in a really large space, but in a smaller space like a hotel room or a bedroom, this I think is really, really pretty. It is just soft and feminine and perfumey and really, really nice. So all in all, I have actually been quite impressed with the scents from the Easter collection. I think that they are all on the kind of lighter side. I'd say Violet Spun Sugar is probably the strongest. Mandarin Zest has actually been pretty light for me, but I'm excited to get another um, set of these scents when they are available next week so that I can try this in my open concept. So that's a quick mini review of the Easter collection that's coming up. All right, and then continuing on with my empties, I went through a bar of cherry vanilla. So this was available in a Bring Back My Bar a few years ago, and I believe it's coming back in the upcoming summer Bring Back My Bar this year. This is a really nice cherry scent, and I love cherry scents around Valentine's Day. So this is a very kind of tart cherry mixed with kind of a creamy, sweet vanilla ice cream note. I really like it. My husband said it was a little too sweet for him, but this was a good performer in our open concept area and would definitely be a repurchase for me. And speaking of cherry scents, I went through one of my last bars of sugared cherry. I would love to see this one come back in a bring back my bar. I believe I warmed this on Valentine's Day. To me, this is more of a spiced cherry scent. I get some really kind of primitive spice notes from this mixed with a really, really nice cherry. This does not come across to my nose as like a cough syrup type cherry, but just a really kind of concentrated sweet cherry. I love this one. It is a standout performer. It lasted for days in my warmers and I would love to see this one come back in and bring back my bar. So I always vote for this one if it's available um, and I hope that we'll see it one day. And then around Valentine's Day in our bedroom, I finished an old bar of French Kiss. So this is from a very old bring back my bar. It's come back since then and I have a few um, bars in the newer packaging. But this is a very nice dupe of Bath & Body Works Brown Sugar and Fig. I kind of have to be in the mood for this one, but it is kind of a nice, um, perfumey, sultry scent, really nice in a bedroom. And then there was a day in February where we were just wanting something bright and fresh and fruity and clean. So I went with one of my all-time favorites, Red Pear and Pomegranate. I love this scent. This was a scent of the month, I believe, a few years ago, and it's been in my club since then. But this is a very juicy, fruity scent. But I like this one because I think there's just something about the pear and pomegranate combination that makes this a winter or summer appropriate um, fruity scent. So on days in the winter when I'm wanting something kind of fruity and juicy, this is one that I reach for. It smells really fresh and clean. My husband really likes this, so this will stay in my club for a while. And then while I was on that kind of clean, fresh kick, I did go through a bar of Sunkissed Citrus. This is a really nice scent for the kitchen and I warmed it there and through our whole open concept area. So just very clean, fresh, and citrusy. I get a lot of orange from that one. I went through a bar of pear blossom and cucumber. This was available in the most recent Bring Back My Bar. This is one of my all-time favorite scents, and I'd been waiting a while for this to come back in and bring back my bar. It is very, very light, so I do have to keep this one in my bedroom or bathroom, but it is just so fresh and perfumey, feminine, 
and clean. I really, really like this one in my bedroom for the spring. So I actually added this one to my club. All right, this next one got a little juicy, but this is Ginger Spice. And I actually got this in a wax swap with Michael Coltman from the UK. And it's been a year or two since we did that swap. I've been kind of holding on to these bars um, because they were special and I knew that I wouldn't be able to get them very easily again. So I was kind of holding on to this one. This was a scent of the month in their region and it is very, very spicy. So you do get that kind of um, sharp ginger note, but I get a lot of pepper from this, like a black pepper note. So it is a little bit um, masculine. I warmed this through our open concept and it was just kind of a nice change of pace. So I was glad to go through that one. And then from the Valentine's Day collection, I went through several bars, I'm sure, of Clementine Blossom. It got a little bit of that ginger spice on it but this was my favorite scent from the valentine's trio i put it in my club i actually made a special one-time club to really stock up on this bar i love this scent to me it kind of smells like a feminine perfumey baby aspirin and i love it so you do get that kind of soft citrusy note but there's something really really pretty about the perfumey floral in here. Oh, it is just so soft and lovely and I love it. My husband loves it too. I had this going in our bedroom and when he walked in, he complimented it. Um, he really, really liked it. So this is definitely um, staying in my club for quite some time. I love this one. In fact, here is another bar that I went through. This is fabulous. Um, I've heard people say that this one is kind of light for them. It does pretty well for me in my bedroom, but again, probably not a scent that would be great in like an open concept. All right, so from this most recent Bring Back My Bar, I went through a bar of fried ice cream. And um, you know that I don't love the bakery scents, but there's something about a really kind of like spicy bakery scent that I do appreciate. And this has a lot of like a sweet cinnamon sugar note. You do get um, that kind of fried note as well. Um, something about this definitely does remind me of churro churro. Um, I think this one is just a little bit sweeter and richer than churro churro. I hate the color of the wax, but I warmed this in my office and I really enjoyed it. My husband did not like this at all. This was actually a pretty good performer. It kind of wafted out into the hallway um, from my office and he, you know, whenever he'd catch a whiff of it, he had to say something about it. So I don't think this would be a repurchase for us just because my husband doesn't really love of bakery scents, but I did enjoy it while I was warming it in my office. From the new releases from the fall winter catalog, I went through a bar of Velvet Moon. I believe I warmed this one in our bedroom and in my office. This is quite powdery um, and it's just a little too powdery floral for my nose. I think I would like this to be maybe a little bit sweeter, but it was a really pleasant scent. I just don't know if it would be a huge repurchase for me. Oh, here's another bar of Clementine Blossom. I just love this scent. I can't say it enough. I love that one. All right, and then also from the Bring Back My Bar, we went through Spiced Berries. So I warmed this one upstairs in our living area, and this was a really, really nice performer. This is a deep spiced berry scent. I think this has frankincense and myrrh, so you do get those kind of incense notes in this one. It's a very rich, very sophisticated. This was a really nice one to warm in January, kind of after the Christmas season, but when it's still cold and snowy outside. This was really, really nice. Um, I actually stocked up a little bit on this one. And then back in January, I went through a bar of Inhale, Exhale. This was a scent of the month several years ago and the wax had started to really discolor. Um, I used to like this scent a little bit more than I do now. I get a really kind of sharp, tangy, almost like melon note from this but there is something kind of salty about this one as well. I know this is a really polarizing scent. Um, I think this was one of my last bars of Inhale Exhale, and I was glad to be done with it. I'm glad to kind of clear this out of my stash. All right, here's another Bring Back My Bar, Perk Me Up. So I do just have one cube left for my testers. 
but this is a really nice coffee scent. Um, I know that Scentsy kind of struggles in the coffee department and I don't really love coffee scented wax. I do love the smell of coffee, um, but the coffee scented waxes just always smell a little off to me. This one is actually quite nice. This does have kind of a creamy, almost hazelnut vibe to me. Um, but you do get a really nice coffee note. I warmed this in our kind of open concept area. My husband was not a fan, but I'd say of the coffee scents, this one was pretty pleasant. I went through a bar of Mediterranean Spa from this most recent Bring Back My Bar, and I really like this scent. So I had an old bar of this, I think from when it was last available in a Bring Back My Bar, and I was just kind of warming it exclusively in our downstairs bathroom, but I just decided to put this one through our whole open concept area and it was really really nice it was very fresh and clean I get a lot of kind of like a very clean type lemon from this um, and I liked it my husband was not a fan um, and I think going forward I might just keep something like this in a bathroom because it is very fresh and clean um, but it was kind of a nice change of pace I went through a bar of frosted vanilla this is a new release for the fall winter catalog and I think that it's been pretty popular I think we probably will see it back next fall winter. Um, I like it. I'm not sure I love it. I do get kind of a smoky note from this. Um, it almost reminds me of the same smoky note that's in Bonfire Beach. So to me, this is kind of a winter version of Bonfire Beach. I have to be in the mood for this kind of scent, but I did like it and it was a good performer in our open concept area. My husband was not a fan of this one when it was warming, so I have to be kind of judicious about when I would warm this in the future. And another from the Bring Back My Bar, Hazelnut Latte. So this one, I get a lot less of the coffee note from um, when compared to Perk Me Up. This one is much more sweet, creamy, rich. It's a little too sweet and bakery heavy for me. This is the kind of scent that might give me like a headache or make me feel kind of nauseated. It's just a little too rich for me, but I know a lot of people really like hazelnut latte. I went through a bar of cranberry muffin. So I warmed this through our open concept area. And this is one of the bars that had issues at the very beginning of Bring Back My Bar. I think I could have asked for a replacement. Um, I think there was something wrong with how they mixed this wax up, but um, it did fine for me. Uh, this one was just a little too bakery heavy for my liking. I did like the cranberry note in this, um, but it is a kind of cranberry mixed with that rich muffin note. So um, it was just okay for me. My husband did not like it. I don't think it would be a repurchase for me, but I know a lot of people really did enjoy that one. And then I went through a bar of pink coconut. So this was February scent of the month. And I had really high hopes for this bar, but I think I've just kind of come to the realization that I don't love Scentsy's coconut note for the most part. There's just something that's kind of like sharp and sour about the coconut note that they use a lot of the time. I do like the sweeter coconuts, like the one that's in Pina Colada Cha Cha, but the coconuts that are in like Mahalo Coconut and this, they're just too sharp and sour to my nose. So um, yeah. This one was okay. I warmed it in my bedroom and bathroom and it was actually a really good performer in there, um, but just not a favorite scent for me. And then I finished an old bar of Olaf Warm Hugs. So this is just a really nice kind of sweet vanilla minty scent. It is very kind of frosty smelling. I think I had about four cubes left of this and I finished it in my office. It was just kind of a nice refreshing scent for the winter, so I like that one. My husband doesn't love minty scents, so that's why I kept this one in my office. And then sometime, I think toward the end of January, it was National Hot Chocolate Day, and so in my kitchen and living area, I was warming hug in a mug. I didn't finish that bar, but I was trying to come up with a nice complimentary scent to warm in our laundry room because our laundry room is just kind of right off of our kitchen. And so I finished this bar of Snow White. So to me, this kind of reminds me of 
silhouette or love story. Um, this does have a more prominent floral note, but there's just something about this that has a little like hint of chocolate to my nose. So this actually worked really well in our laundry room when I was warming the chocolate scents in my kitchen and living room. And then um, I had also warmed this in my office and in my bedroom and it did, it did well. Um, this wouldn't be a repurchase for me, but I'm glad that I got to try that one. And then another bar from the Valentine's Day collection, this is Pink Sunshine. So I warmed this in our bedroom and in my office. And this is another scent that my husband really complimented. Um, I think this one has pear in it, but to me it smells a lot like apple. It's kind of like a floral apple perfumey scent. I really do like the scent, but this is one of those fragrances that starts to smell kind of stale to my nose um, after a few hours of warming. So I really liked it. My husband really liked it. I did stock up a little bit on it, but I don't think I'm going to put this one in my club just because it does kind of take on that stale note. And I have a lot of other like apple or perfumey scents that I prefer to this one, but this one was nice. And then we did finish up a body wash in jeweled pomegranate. So I think we started using this back in about November and then finished it uh, toward the end of January. This is a really nice, um, very festive, kind of citrusy pomegranate scent. Really, really nice for the holidays. Um, and I really liked it in the body wash. And then I have a few scent circles and scent packs that I went through. So we went on a quick trip to San Diego at the beginning of February to see some family. And I did put a scent pack in Shimmer in my luggage. And this was a really, really nice scent. I'd love to see this one come back. And then I did go through an Arctic Kiss scent circle in my car. This is one of the best performing scent circles that I've come across. It is very, very strong and it lasts for a really, really long time. It just keeps going and going and going. I actually took this out before it had completely lost scent just because I wanted to switch it up, but I highly recommend the Arctic Kiss Scent Circle. And I actually replaced the Arctic Kiss Scent Circle with a sugared cherry car bar. So back when I was kind of on my sugared cherry kick, I had purchased a few of these really old car bars from the Scentsy Black Market. Um, I don't even know when these were offered in the catalog, but I put this in around Valentine's Day and it is still going in my car. It is just such a pleasant scent. I really like cherry scents in the car, so I wish that we would see this make a comeback in the catalog. I really liked it. My husband also complimented this scent, so love that. And then back in December, we actually went with Tyson's family to Hawaii for Christmas. So I brought a pineapple pucker scent circle for our rental car. This was a little bit on the light side, but it was just kind of a nice, light, refreshing, um, very fruity pineapple scent. And then in our closet, in our hotel room, I used an Arctic Kiss scent circle just to kind of keep things nice and fresh. I really, really like that scent. And then, um, I guess back in November, maybe I had a frosted vanilla scent circle in my car and I actually really like the scent in my car. Um, I actually went through a drive through and got compliments on the scent of my car and that has never happened before. So frosted vanilla was definitely a hit. And then I also have a white amber antique and to be honest, I cannot remember where this scent circle is. I think I might have tried it in my car and maybe it was a little bit too masculine so I moved it into a closet. Not 100% sure, but there's that. So when we went to Hawaii, I did bring a bar of the January scent of the month pineapple rose to warm in our Airbnb. And I don't like this scent. So I don't typically love rose scents anyway, but this rose is very, very potent. And to me, it is very, very powdery, musky. I was hoping that the pineapple would kind of lighten it up and make it more palatable to my nose, but no, I just could not do this scent. So unfortunately, this was a miss for me. And then back in October, I did make some little wax melts, and I actually have one here. Um, they're little jack-o'-lanterns, and I wanted them to look like candy corn. So for the top layer, I used vanilla bean buttercream. 
And then for that middle layer, I went through several bars of Scary Good. And then for the bottom layer, I went with the scent of the month from last September, Gimme Candy. So Gimme Candy is another scent that I had had really high expectations for because I really love the scent Candy Corn from Yankee. And I wish that Scentsy hadn't put like the sweet butterscotch or caramel note in this scent. I wish that it was just straight candy corn because this is just a little too rich, too sweet for my nose. So I wanted to kind of combine it with some other scents to make it a little bit more tolerable for me. So um, the vanilla bean buttercream did kind of tone that down just a little bit. And Scary Good is very spicy to me. So when this was first a scent of the month, I thought I really liked it. But then when I warmed it, the spicy note in here is just a little too savory to my nose. It almost comes across as like a curry type spice. So I thought that that might be nice to tone down with some of the sweeter scents like vanilla bean buttercream and gimme candy. So uh, I still don't know if any of these scents are my favorite and this mix was just a little too rich for me, but I'm glad that I did get through some of my bars of those. And then also back in September or October, I warmed through a few bars of Hocus Pocus so this is the Sanderson Sisters Perfectly Wicked and this is kind of a deep perfumey rich cherry berry scent. I know a lot of people really really loved it. It wasn't my favorite so I didn't stock up on this one or put it in my club but it was you know pretty pleasant and nice for the fall. I went through a bar of one of the scents of the month from last year, Sweet Orange and Evergreen. This was a really nice um, kind of winter evergreen scent. I think I remember wishing that there was a little bit more orange in this, but this was really pleasant and I would definitely repurchase that one. And at one point I decided to finish up this bar of Up Adventure is Out There. I didn't love this scent. Um, I think this is the one that reminded a lot of people of Make a Splash, and that's also a scent that I don't really love. It's just a little too sharp to my nose. So I used this up in um, bathrooms, and like I said, I was glad to be done with that one. All right, and here is a purple light bulb, and I feel like I've kind of gone on and on about the issues that I've had with the purple bulbs from Scentsy. Um, I just feel like they get too hot, like the coating gets too hot. You can smell it when it's on. You can actually see the coating kind of melting off. So I think they might need to take the purple light bulbs back to the drawing board. Um, I also wish that they were a little bit brighter um, because in a lot of the warmers that I use the purple bulbs in, it's hard to even see that they're on. So um, I wish since he would kind of reconfigure the purple light bulbs. All right, around Christmas time, I finished up a bar of Disney C Season of Magic. This one is just okay to me. So I do like the um, evergreen note that's in this, but there is a very kind of sweet, almost um, like brown sugar note that I pick up that reminds me a little bit of Happy Holly Days, and that is not one of my favorite scents. So um, this one is okay to me. I don't know if I would go out of my way to repurchase this one. I'm sorry these are kind of all jumbled up at this point, but this is Starburst Sky. This was actually part of the Valentine's Day collection. And I didn't love this scent. Um, so I warmed this in my bedroom. And I think Patricia Gates has said that she gets kind of like a cigarette smoke note from this. And I can totally see that. There's just something that smells a little bit off about this scent to me and my husband did not like this one either. So this one would not be a repurchase for me. And I actually warmed through a bar of the upcoming scent of the month for March, Strawberry Lemon Cake. So I warmed this one in my office and this reminds me a lot of scents like Clementine Cupcake. Um, this smells a lot like lemon drizzle cake or um, the lemon chiffon bar. So it is a very kind of sweet, buttery um, cake bakery note with a little bit of lightness and tartness from the fruity notes. So I actually don't love scents like this. It's just a little too bakery to my nose. So um, this would probably not be a repurchase for me. Oh, and speaking of scents like this, I went through a bar of mango shortcake. 
And to me, this actually smells kind of similar to strawberry lemon cake. You get that kind of cakey bakery note mixed with a fruity note. This one you can definitely tell was mixed with gogo -Go mango because this one does come across a little bit more like body care or perfumey. Um, not my favorite, but I actually think I prefer mango shortcake to strawberry lemon cake. Right now in our downstairs family room, I'm warming my home. So this was from a Bring Back My Bar a little while ago. This is a very kind of primitive, spicy scent. It smells a lot like potpourri to me. My husband complimented this one. He actually likes that one. And then sometime over the past few months, I finished a bar of Quiet Grove. I love this scent. This is a fresh, clean, crisp bergamot scent. I love this one in bedrooms and bathrooms in the fall and winter. So this is one that will stay in my club. I warmed through a bar of cider mill. I really like this scent. Um, I didn't put this one in my club. I think that it's popular enough to come back. I kind of have to be in the right mood for cider mill because sometimes this one comes across as smelling like bubble gum to me, but I know this is a staple for the fall in Scentsy Land. I went through a bar of blackberry orange marmalade from the last Bring Back My Bar. I actually really like this one. Um, this is a really, really nice combination of the rich blackberry with a very kind of fresh, sweet orange scent. So this was a really nice performer in our upstairs open concept area. This would definitely be a repurchase for me. Back in the fall, I went through a bar of Bright Cider Life. I know this is a favorite of a lot of people. Um, this is another fall scent that I kind of have to be in the mood for. This smells a little bit like a burning fall candle to me, so it is definitely nice and cozy, and I would repurchase that one. Um, here is another bar of Sweet Orange and Evergreen. I went through a bar of Perfect Day, so this was a new release with this fall winter catalog. And on warming it, I think that I didn't like it quite as much as I did on my first cold sniffs of this scent. This has a very kind of sharp sour note. It's the same one that I get in Autumn Road Trip. So um, I don't think that this one would be a repurchase for me or one that I would need to stock up on or add to my Scentsy Club. All right, here is another bar of Cider Mill. From the first Scentspirations collection, I went through a bar of Gingerbread Buttercream. This was just a little too rich for me, so I think I prefer scents like Cozy Spice to the Gingerbread Buttercream. All right, here's a scent that I've kind of changed my tune on. So this is Halloween Town, and I remember in the past few years that it's been available, I really, really liked it, but I think something about it or something about my nose changed this past season, and I just didn't like it. It almost kind of turned my stomach a little bit and I can't really explain why. It just smells a little off to me, like a little tiny bit rancid. I, I don't know. So um, I stocked up. I have a lot of this. So I'm hoping that maybe my nose will come back around to this scent next fall. Um, and it's just so funny because I used to love this scent around Halloween, but this year I just really couldn't stand it. So Halloween Town. All right, here is a scent circle in Frosted Vanilla. So this is the one that I got a compliment on. Um, I stocked up a little bit on this. I went through a bar of Pumpkin Roll. This is a really nice kind of sweet um, bakery pumpkin spice scent. I didn't go through as much of this bar as I had in the past, so I don't think I'm going to add this one to my club. This is one that I'm always a little worried about coming back for the next fall winter catalog, especially since it's on the older side and since he has really been kind of switching up the lineup. So I'd say if you love pumpkin roll, I would probably add this one to your Scentsy Club just to be safe. I went through a bring back my bar of white sands. So I think this one might be coming back soon, um, but this is a really nice, uh, just kind of soft, pleasant, cozy scent. It reminds me a lot of scents like Cozy Cashmere. So if you like those kind of warm, perfumey scents, um, I think you should definitely give White Sands a try. I went through a bar of Around the Campfire. I remember I used this one around Halloween. This one to me is just a little too smoky and kind of ironically, it's a little too sweet to my nose. Um, 
to me, I get kind of like a maple note from this that I don't love. And I know a lot of people really, really love around the campfire. I just don't think it's for me. I went through a bar of one of the scents of the month from last year, cinnamon pine cones. I actually really, really like this one. And I did stock up a little bit on this one. I thought about adding it to my Scentsy Club, but with some of the Christmas scents, I just don't go through enough bars to keep them in my club. So I did stock up on this one. This to me smells like maybe a little more cinnamon heavy version of Blue Christmas. I really like it. I thought it was really, really pleasant and it was one of my favorite scents of the month from last year. I finished a bar of maraschino sugar cookie. So I think this is the bar that I got in a whiff box two Decembers ago and I decided to finish it um, since the brick of maraschino sugar cookie came out uh, last winter. Um, I like this one. I do have to be in the mood for it because it does have that kind of bakery cookie note, but I do like the cherry note that's in here. And I actually did end up taking cherry almond pie out of my club because I did kind of build up a little stock of it. And now I have a maraschino sugar cookie brick. So um, that is a nice kind of sweet cherry bakery scent. I went through a bar of Christmas Cottage. This is just such a nice classic Christmas scent really really love that one around Christmas time I went through a bar of autumn hearth and I've decided autumn hearth isn't my favorite fall scent it's a little more um, cinnamon heavy than I remember it being and the apple note in here is a little tart to my nose so there are just other um, autumn and fall scents that I prefer to Autumn Hearth. I went through an old bar of Cranberry Garland. I love Cranberry Garland. I think I had had this in my club at one point and then took it out. This is a very sophisticated cranberry scent where Very Merry Cranberry is very kind of juicy and festive. This one is a little bit more primitive. Um, I think this has sage in it and it almost makes this smell a little bit savory. So I really like this one um, around the beginning of December and I hope that we'll see this one back one day. Here's another bar of cinnamon pine cones. I went through a bar of blackberry spice. So this is a new release from the fall winter catalog. And this one was really, really pleasant, really surprising. This is a very deep blackberry scent. I really like this one in the fall. So I did stock up on that one. I bet we'll see it back next fall winter. I went through a bar of honey pear cider. This is in my club. It is one of my favorites for the fall time. It's just such a pleasant kind of spiced cider scent and I absolutely love it. So that one will be staying in my club. I also went through a bar of A is for Apple. I did get a chance to stock up on this one in a flash sale last fall. I love this scent for around Halloween. I just think it's a perfect apple scent for Halloween. I went through a bar of warm pumpkin drizzle back in the fall. This was a scent of the month and uh, you know me, I don't really love um, bakery scents, so this wasn't a favorite, but I did want to give it a try. Uh, I went through another bar of cider mill. I must have been kind of on a cider mill kick. I went through a bar of cedar cider. This is a really, really nice one. This is a more sophisticated cider scent. Um, this is one that I might be a little bit worried about not returning next fall winter. So I did stock up a little bit on that one. I went through a bar of Arctic Kiss. I think I used this one in my bedroom and I just love it. It's such a good performer. Oh, here's another bar of A is for Apple. I went through a bar of Cashmere Pear. So I believe this is another scent that's returning with the June Bring Back My Bar. This is one of my husband's favorite scents. He absolutely loves when I warm this one. So um, we warm this one in our bedroom and in our family room downstairs. It is a great performer. This is another one that lasts for days and days and days. So I highly recommend Cashmere Pear. I went through Spiced Pear and I actually was able to stock up quite a bit on Spiced Pear in that last flash sale. This is such a sweet, perfumey pear scent and I love this one for early fall so I was really happy to be able to stock up on that one. From the last inspirations I went through a bar of candy cane buttercream and again this is just a little too sweet for me. I prefer candy cane wishes which is in my club. 
I went through a bar of Very Merry Cranberry. I really like that one. I went through another bar of Blackberry Spice. So that's definitely a repurchase for me. I went through a bar of Rise and Sunshine. This is a citrus scent that I really like in the fall around October. Um, I get a lot of orange from this. And I think there's like a spiced cherry in this as well. So it's a really nice one for the fall. I went through a bar of painted leaves. This is one that's returning in the upcoming Bring Back My Bar. This is the most unique scent for fall. I absolutely love it. It is so crisp and cool. To me, it kind of feels a little bit minty. Uh, reminds me a little bit of Sweater Weather from Bath & Body Works, but I love that. It's such a good performer, and I'm really happy that it's returning in the upcoming Bring Back My Bar. I went through a bar of Wild for Fall, so this was part of the Harvest Collection. And um, my parents really liked this one, so I did stock up a little bit on this. It reminds me a lot of the um, Evergreen and Grapefruit. There's something about the citrus note in this one that I don't love, but I do like this one more than evergreen and grapefruit. So that's wild for fall. I went through a bar of black currant and plum. This was a new release from this fall winter catalog. And to me, this one was just okay. This is another one of those scents that starts to smell a little stale to me after it's been warming for a few hours. So I liked it, but this would not be a repurchase for me. I went through a bar of Cozy Spice. So this is kind of, um, to my nose, a gingerbread scent. And I really, really like it. It is so cozy and sweet. Oh, I just love this one. I know a lot of people would really like to see this one come back in and bring back my bar. So back around Halloween, I decided to go through an old bar of root beer barrel. And this was kind of strange. So this definitely smells like root beer. My husband did not like it. Um, my parents came over and I made them guess what the scent was. And I think they said that it was like a winter green or spearmint kind of scent. And I can definitely see that. Um, but yeah, it's a very specific scent. I thought it would be fun around Halloween. I think I prefer Root Beer Float just because it does have a little bit of that added sweetness from the vanilla, where this is just like straight up sassafras. Very potent, very kind of astringent sinus clearing scent. Um, but yeah, like I said, it was kind of fun around Halloween. I went through a bar of the Walt Disney World Iridescent. And this one was nice. I warmed it in our bedroom and it was a lot more like kind of floral, like white heady floral than I was expecting it to be. Um, it was a little too floral for my preferences, um, but it was a really pretty scent. All right, so here are some scent circles. So I did go through a Mighty Pine scent circle in my car around Christmas, and that was really nice. And then I also went through a Tinselberry in my car around Christmas time, and that was really nice. I did stock up on those scent circles. And I just decided to put this out of its misery. Um, this is a roll of the dice scent pack that came with my Oogie Boogie Buddy. Um, I don't love roll of the dice, so I actually put this in the bottom of our trash can in our bathroom and it has been fine there. So here is an Arctic Kiss scent pack and I believe this is one that I put in my luggage when we went to Hawaii at Christmas. Here is another Tinselberry scent circle. I really liked that one in my car around Christmas time. I went through a bar of Walnut Raisin Muffin. This is a really, really pleasant bakery scent that I do like because it is spicy, but you get that kind of unique raisin note. And I don't know, I just really, really like that one. So that is Walnut Raisin Muffin. I went through a bar of Be Merry. This is one of my all-time favorites for Christmas, so had to go through that. I went through a bar of Crimson Berry Christmas, another favorite for Christmas time. I went through a bar of Spiced Ember Glow, and Spiced Ember Glow actually surprised me quite a bit this year. My parents were warming it at their house, and I thought it smelled so good, so I had to stock up on this one. And I actually added this one to my club. So I don't know if we'll see it back next year, but to me, it kind of smells like a sweet cinnamon candy scent. 
I don't get a whole lot of like a smoky note from this, but to me, it almost smells like a sweet cinnamon candy and I really, really like it. I finished a bar of pumpkin cinnamon swirl. I really like this one around Halloween. Um, it's a very sweet pumpkin spice scent. I like that one. I think we'll probably see that one come back. I finished a bar of caramel buttercream from the Sensorations collection. This was just too much for me, too sweet, definitely not a repurchase for me. Um, here's a bar of Candy Cane Wishes. So I really, really like this one. It is a very um, kind of crisp peppermint scent, but the vanilla really kind of comes in and rounds it out. And I really like this. I had this warming in our upstairs open concept and I was like, this smells so good. I cannot take this out of my club. So I think that's going to be in my club for a while. I went through a bar of lavender and white balsam. This is one of my husband's favorite scents. It's just such a unique scent for the winter. So we love that one. It's in my club. Um, we went through a bar of woodland suede and this one just came back in the bring back my bar, but this was the old packaging. And this is just kind of a nice, um, almost like masculine scent really nice cozy for the winter so we warmed this in our family room downstairs i went through a scent pack in luna and i think that i had put this in our luggage when we went on a trip around thanksgiving so that was really nice went through a bar of swirling snowflakes and this was from the holiday collection and i didn't love this one um my mom and dad liked it a little bit more than i did um this smells a little bit like frosted vanilla. To me, I do get kind of a cigarette smoke note from this one. It kind of reminds me of like a hotel lobby type scent. So it smelled good when my parents were warming it, but in my house, I just didn't love it. So that's Swirling Snowflakes. Here's another bar of Candy Cane Buttercream. Here's another bar of Painted Leaves. Here's my Mighty Pine Scent Circle. I really like that. Another bar of Cinnamon Pine Cones. Here's a bar of Jack's Obsession. I think I warmed this one in our downstairs family room. This is a very nice um, kind of spiced apple cider scent. So I know kind of a classic for the fall. Here's a bar of Spiced Grapefruit. I really, really like this scent. This is just a perfect um, spiced citrus scent for Christmas time. I did have this in my club and I decided to take it out just because I have built up quite a stock of it and I don't go through as much of this as I used to or as fast as it was coming in. So I felt good about taking it out of my club just because I probably only go through one or two of these bars a year. Here's another bar of Be Merry. Here's a bar of Very Snowy Spruce. I love this one. This is probably my all-time favorite Christmas tree scent. It is just so perfect and it definitely went into my club. Here is another bar of Sweet Orange and Evergreen. Here's another Christmas Cottage. Another Be Merry. Uh, let's see, here is a Snow Kissed Cranberry. So. Um, they took this one out of the catalog. This is a very feminine, perfumey body care type cranberry. I like it. It's just not a very strong performer. So I have a few bars of this left um, and I like it in my bedroom. I went through a The North Calls from the Frozen 2 collection. They re-released this scent and this is a really nice kind of winter floral scent. I really liked this one in my bedroom. I went through a bar of Polar Bear Hug. This is a really, really nice scent. I love it in January. It is so unique and I might have to put this one in my club. Um, it's just perfect for winter time. Um, I think that it'll probably come back next year, but you just never know. And then speaking of favorite scents for January that I'm kind of worried about, Silver Bells. I went through two of these bars. I love Silver Bells and I know there's been a lot of chatter about this one maybe not coming back just because we've seen a lot of it in the clearance section. So this did go into my club. And then I went through Be Fabulous. This is a bar in my club that did not come back with the spring summer catalog. This is just a beautiful, sweet, 
grapefruit scent. I love the limoncello note that's added in here. So um, this is another really nice kind of citrusy scent that I think I can warm in the winter or in the spring and summer. So I love that one. And then I think this one was from the holiday collection, Cranberry Orange Cider. Um, I didn't like this one as much as I thought I was going to. It reminds me a lot of Cider Mill. It has that kind of same almost bubblegum undertone that Cider Mill has to me, but this one has an added um, kind of blood orange note that smells a lot like the blood orange spice scent. I don't I don't love it. So this would not be a repurchase. Yeah, the holiday collection this year was not my favorite. Uh, so that was cranberry orange cider. And then here is a sample cup of cinnamon pine cones. So I really liked that one. And then I think I just have a few other non-wax items to get through. So here are some pods that I went through. Um, I have pods in whipped vanilla lavender and I replaced those with cloudberry dreams and I used this in the air purifier in our bedroom. So I don't really love whipped vanilla lavender. I'm hit or miss on lavender scents anyway. To me it just smells a little too herbal and not sweet enough. Um, I do like cloudberry dreams so I would repurchase that one. And then here are some pods in Christmas Cottage. So I used this in my little wall fan diffuser in our front room and I replaced those with Very Snowy Spruce and this was around Christmas. I love both of those. Those would definitely be repurchases for me. Here are some pods in Autumn Road Trip. I think I got these in a whiff box and I replaced them with pumpkin rolls. So that was back in the fall. Um, like I said, I don't really love Autumn Road Trip. It's just a little too sharp and sour to me, um, but I really do like pumpkin roll. And then here are my pumpkin roll pods and I replaced them with wild for fall. So this wild for fall, I think leans a little bit more holiday or winter than it did fall just because you do get a lot of that kind of evergreen note. So I think I use those around the end of November or early December. And then here are the wild for fall pods. Yeah. And I replaced those with the Christmas cottage pods. And then I just have one more set. So here are the Cloudberry Dreams pods and I replaced them with Luna in our bedroom. From the summer collection, I finally finished up the laundry liquid and a washer whiffs tub in cucumber and cactus water. Um, and this was really, really nice. They're actually bringing this scent out in a springtime brick. So that should be exciting. This is just a really nice kind of fresh green scent to me. Yeah, kind of fresh, spa-like. Um, I don't know if it's like a huge standout scent to me, but it was definitely pleasant. Here is another used air purifier filter. And then I actually just pulled this one out of our shower. This is a body wash in Scarlet Sunflower. I did pick up more of these in the most recent flash sale. I love this scent. This is a very sophisticated, kind of fresh, clean, juicy apple cranberry scent. I really, really like that. And then I finished up a hand soap in jeweled pomegranate. I've had this for quite a while and I think I'm in the minority of people. I actually like these little bottles. I think they're cute. I know the pumps are really annoying, but I do kind of like the cute little petite shape of the bottles. Um, this is not scentsy, but I did want to include it because I absolutely loved this scent. This is from Bath and Body Works. This is white iris and cedarwood. And this was fabulous. I loved the scent and I really, really hope that they bring it back next year. And then I think my last item is one that I don't get through very often, but I did finish an oil and this is in marshmallow buttercream. So um, I know that they're discontinuing this for the spring summer catalog and I think it's already sold out. I love this scent and that's kind of funny because I don't usually love a lot of the really bakery scents but this is just 
very sweet to me. This is a scent that I love diffusing at nighttime and I hope that we will see it back next fall winter. So those are all of the Scentsy empties that I've accumulated over the past few months. I'm sorry this was kind of all over the place, um, but I did want to get this video filmed and get all of these empty clamshells in the recycling before the new spring summer catalog. So I'm really excited for March 1st when that spring summer catalog launches. I haven't picked up the bars of the new release fragrances, so I'm really excited to get my hands on those and I'd love to know what you are looking forward to most. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.